fuck around, give you my last name. Yes, come on, this shit it goes. I don't care. Yes, I do not care that shit goes. I cannot stand. Y'all know I can't stand Drake. And I almost can't stand Chris Brown. They mad because they didn't they both mess with Rihanna or he was trying to mess with Rihanna. Drake is oh, he's so corny to me. But that song goes. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Being nosy. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the diva know you stopped by. Um, yeah, I had to come. I had to come by yesterday and get and get it off my chest about Nicole Murphy. I was looking at the. Uh, looking at the, you know, I was on the internet with like everybody else looking. I was just looking at everybody. Blame this lady. And I guess some people in the comments from the video yesterday, you know, I have my opinion about it, but the people from yesterday in the comments were saying that she has lupus. And y'all know, remember when Tony Braxton was whatever medication she was on and her face got real round around here, this area? So it's like, and then somebody else made a, another good point saying that the fact, because I did not know. See, I'm not, I don't know all the details and nuances of these people's relationships. But apparently, Antoine Fuqua then stuck his penis in two women, raw, and had babies outside of the marriage. Girl, and that her weight gain could be um, uh, her, how, how she is dealing with being betrayed the trauma of being betrayed that's what somebody else said in the comments yesterday i was like oh yes that's a great point because some women who get cheated on they just let themselves go because they don't want to be attractive anymore to the man that cheated on them but they won't leave so we don't know what's going on within people's lives and why she wouldn't leave after him making two babies outside the marriage child please <sighs> that no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Y'all not going to blame no no woman for a man cheating on her. Anyway, so we're talking about basketball wives. So what's going on with basketball wives? Let me start. Honey, this is episode six. They in San Diego. Everybody. Everybody came. Um, I think I need to put my glasses on. I mean, because I can't see. Evelyn is mad because they, they start off where they left off. Jennifer and them, Jennifer and Dominique, Sha, um, Shawnee, I think Jackie. They, oh, no, Jackie was sitting on the stairs. They all walk in, and Evelyn says that she's mad. She gets immediately annoyed. She's so annoyed with Jennifer. Um, and they say they're going to go out. Let's go out to dinner. And, Jen, and Evelyn says, well, do we have to go? Is this a group thing? Because I don't want to sit at a table with, I don't want to sit at a table with everybody. And Jennifer is looking all crazy. The air is fucking thick as shit. They're not saying anything to each other. And all of a sudden, Malaysia and who? Somebody, Malaysia. Who who, who comes in here with Malaysia and them? Um, who comes in with Malaysia? I don't remember who came in with Malaysia, but... What the hell? Okay, let me get let me get my mind together. Okay, so Malaysia comes in. I don't know who she comes in with, but she came in and she was like, "We all seem sad in here. We're like, what's the tea? What's going on?" And I said, "Well, we was we was just talking, but you know, y'all came in. Okay, what was y'all talking about? Okay, we going to dinner, but I'm I don't feel like going. And 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 OG was OG there by that time too, because then um, what's her name was like, I don't want to go either, because Malaysia doesn't want to be sitting next to OG. She's mad at OG. Um, I guess for Kristen, I guess. <laughs> um, Jennifer and Evelyn, both of them are entitled and rude. That's what I wrote on here. I don't get, like, you know, it, here's the thing. Both of them, they both wrong. I, look, I, I And, and it's, it's the behavior. I know a lot of people do not like Evelyn. I know a lot of people do not like Evelyn. And I know a lot of people cannot stand Jennifer. But both of them, I, I, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Dominique. Um, Jennifer says, well, I'm always a team player. No, you're not. Shut up. Like, Jennifer, the reason, the problem with Jennifer is that she is a liar. She lies. She does not, she's not honest. She doesn't speak honestly. And, you know, and the, the first time we saw her, like, really 
capture some real emotion is when she broke down with Shawnee and, and Jackie. Other than that, all this I'm a team player, it's very aloof. It's very aloof. It's very like, I really don't give a fuck. I'm just saying this because I'm polite. That's Jennifer. Like, uh-uh, 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 okay? They're in the rooms. They go pick their rooms. Jackie says she is not, <laughs> Jackie says I'm the worst, I'm the worst at fucking up a life. You mean you the best. That's what you meant to say. <laughs> you mean you the best at fucking up a life. Kristen and, um, her friend Vanessa. So I don't know if they're trying to introduce new basketball wives or who this Vanessa girl is. And somebody else brought somebody. Furby was there. Who else brought somebody? It was somebody else that was new there. Oh, Dominique. Dominique. So I'm like, okay, are they trying to introduce new women? Well, good. I hope they do because we're tired. And maybe Tammy is not going to be on the show anymore. And who else? I don't know. But it looks like they're introducing a new batch of girls, right? Because now you got Dominique. Here's Vanessa. I don't know who this Vanessa is. And then you got Furby. So, with her, with her, I don't know what's going on. Jennifer, what she say? Jennifer, what did I put right here? Evelyn Malaysia. Oh, we're not going over there. Because they were all sitting around, standing around. And Evelyn Malaysia came through. Evelyn is such a, like a child. Like, like, um, we're not going over there, girl. Don't go over there. You know, like a kid. Like, very juvenile. Very juvenile. Um, but it's like not doesn't care if you hear her or not very juvenile and um, they walk away they go outside so OG was like listen we just need to go outside so we can show that we're actually putting in the effort we can't so they can't say that we didn't try so let's just go outside and this and that so they go outside and they all sit down they sit down looking oh Jennifer's glasses yes I said Jennifer's glasses her Gucci shades um, very cute. I was like, okay, Jennifer. But see, Jennifer comes in and she has an energy, like I said, of aloofness and a lack of humility and a lack of accountability and a lack of responsibility because we see a pattern and I hope, I hope somebody has the energy and the time to put together a montage that every single time Jennifer Williams is called to the carpet, she's going through something. Whatever it is that she's going through, she cannot be held accountable at this time for her transgressions. We have to wait until she's done with whatever she's going through and then we can talk about what she did to another person to hurt another person. Uh-uh. Jennifer, no. I said every single time. Jennifer is called to the carpet. She got something going. I got something going on. I got something going on. Everybody has something going on. The fact is, Jennifer made a comment about Evelyn's child before her mother died. So what is the excuse? So should we wait for Evelyn to, to address Evelyn's pain so that we can address your pain? Because you talked about her child. You claim she talked about your mother. That was a blatant lie because she didn't talk about your mom. That was a lie from the eighth corner of hell. So, you, oh, she talked about. So you want to be, you want to be mad at her for being mad at you, and you want to use your mother as a reason. You disrespected my fucking mother. That's not true, Jennifer. She said because your mother died. You turn into an asshole. You start treating people like shit. Your behavior. She didn't say one word about that girl's mother. But you talked about her daughter. Now you talking about her daughter. Made it seem like. You gave the impression. That Evelyn was out hoeing. Now maybe she was. Maybe she was doing her thing. And the girl, and even Dominique said, well, I had latchkey kids and a nanny, so there's nothing wrong with it, okay? If that's okay, if if, 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 if Shanice was a latchkey kid, but she made it seem like the way that Shawnee told it. So this is the thing. I don't even know why Jennifer is not saying anything to Shawnee about it, because Shawnee is the one that said it. So when did she say it? When did this happen? And if she keeps not saying it, saying that she didn't say it, why isn't Shawnee saying Yes, you did say it. And you said it this, 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 and this. So it's something it's something not right to me about this whole Shawnee thing. Um, Shawnee, um, Evelyn's daughter. It's something weird about 
the way it's coming out because I feel like I'm gonna say it again if Sean Sh uh, Shawnee told Jennifer that Shawnee was taking care of the household while Evelyn was out doing her thing you Evelyn is, is framing it that you're talking about her child you were her aunt you were like her aunt Evelyn gets in Jennifer's face she walks over to Jennifer and, and Jennifer says you've done a lot of stuff what stuff have I done because you're telling me that you're I, I should excuse your behavior because I've done stuff too and you can't name it name it that's why I was I was with Evelyn until she flipped out because I was like name that shit Jennifer yes come on let's talk about it put it out there because you don't want to accept responsibility or accountability for your actions and so you're gonna say like a child like I said they both child very childish like a child you're gonna say well you've done some stuff too so so that excuses her behavior that excuses your behavior it washes it out or some crazy fourth grade shit like come on man I was like Jennifer is she is she's a in a almost like in a perpetual state of lying like I don't trust Jennifer she's a liar and they and she lied at that table and now all of a sudden she doesn't want to have the conversation in front of everybody how many times has she done that she did it with Shawnee one season oh I will we'll just talk about it private we won't talk about it now well you said you was gonna talk about it bitch what the fuck now you got us out here looking crazy she, she's done that several times there's a pattern of behavior that we can actually if somebody actually had a reunion and they could actually gather and compile footage of Jennifer's her pattern of not accepting responsibility for her transgressions to other people and all the time coming up with the reason as to why she's going through something bitch everybody's going through something out this motherfucker it does not give you an excuse and it does not take away the natural consequences that occur from the shit that you do to people. So I'm supposed to, we're supposed to, not, Evelyn is supposed to suppress her pain so, to accommodate you? We're supposed to wait? Like that shit is crazy to me. Anyway, they start getting in each other's face. Um, Evelyn, I don't like the way Evelyn came at Dominique. Bitch, why are you coming at me like that? And Dominique held, handled her I mean, I wish that Dominique would have remained more calm as she was telling her bitch, like, you're getting out of line. Why are you acting like this? She, like, her, she met um, Evelyn's energy. And, you know, sometimes that's people get you there. You immediately mirror their energy. And I was like, okay, Dominique, don't get into no fight with Evelyn over some shit that Jennifer said. Because Jennifer is probably lying to you, girl. Have you seen any of the other seasons? She's, she's a liar, okay? Um, what happened? Evelyn. Evelyn, you talked about my mom. I wrote when. I want to know when Evelyn. Y'all tell me when Evelyn talk, spoke ill of Jennifer Williams' mother. Please put it in the comments because I don't remember and I need to remember because I'm, uh-uh. Say it. Evelyn is so mad and angry. Like, we haven't seen Evelyn mad like this in a long time. And I think she was really embarrassed about about her behavior, but she was really angry. I was just I was just looking at her, and I watched it twice. And I was looking at her, and she was very angry, like really angry. And I'm like, and really hurt. Like even when she hugged Jennifer in the kitchen, and Jennifer's over there not really hugging her, not you know. I thought it was weird that hug, and, and Evelyn was really crying, and you could tell that she was hurt. And I feel like. I don't know that was weird too like i'm like okay this hug is weird too but they said they missed each other anyway you talk negative about my mother and um uh, malaysia called dominique jennifer's hype man and i mean i don't know if she was her hype man but she was very like you just it's almost like when somebody you're going off character really um when somebody speaks up for a person who wasn't there right you weren't there Dominique to be fair you were not there and that's why Jackie let her know like you wasn't even there and you was very animated and had a lot of energy behind your opinion that seemed a little raw right and I'm glad Jackie owned the fact that she came back in the way that she she said well the way that we presented it to Evelyn was like you had a lot of 
I don't remember the word she used, but you had a lot of energy. Like, you was rah-rah about the situation. And I just don't like the way that Evelyn was like, I mean, you was talking shit. No, that's not, that's not, you, you, first of all, shouldn't have even addressed her that way, Evelyn. You should have just said, well, I heard you had an opinion about it, and it's really none of your business. Her and I have a very long friendship and a, and a lot of peaks and valleys, and it doesn't really have anything to do with you. You are not there, and I know you're speaking up for your friend, but you don't know the situation, girl. And it's best that you, like Furby, she's another one. Keep your damn mouth shut. You need, see, that's what, I don't like that. I have a problem with women or men who come into a group and get very comfortable really really fast see I'm the type that if I'm coming into a group I'm sitting down for a second and I'm watching everybody and I'm seeing people's behavioral patterns I'm seeing how they talk about people when they're not there I'm watching all of that shit I'm not joining in on nothing especially if you don't have an experience with that person Phoebe and OG you don't like OG because OG made it seem like you was a side bitch. You have a, you know that you weren't. So why are you going to continue to hold a grudge? Because no one else really cares for her right now. So what you've done is really, okay, I'm going to take one thing and I'm going to use it like, okay, I don't like OG. Wrong move. We're going to see next week what's going to happen to your ass, girl. Vanessa, Kristen's friend comes and she was like, you know, uh, you saw Phoebe exaggerate what her and Evelyn, what what just happened between Evelyn and Jennifer. The problem with Evelyn that uh, Evelyn has with Jennifer is the, that spirit of aloofness. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. And you heard her say, well, didn't your best friend Shawnee tell you I was going to be here? You should have kept your ass at home. Bitch, you're the one that everybody has a problem with. You are not entitled you like this entitlement that Jennifer has and it's like so so raggedy so raggedy anyway Jackie and Shawnee said um I, I don't believe I, the way when Jackie and Shawnee came back from what happened with Jennifer they didn't explain it right I don't know what Shawnee Shawnee was talking about but they sat there with Jennifer they went and, and um Evelyn sent Shawnee, Shawnee and uh, Jackie and said I feel like y'all should go talk to um Dominique and tell her that it wasn't really about her because she was like bitch I'll fuck you up like Evelyn was mad her whole little accent changed everything she was really mad bitch I will fuck you up I don't give a fuck you think I'm scared of you like girl what she called did she call her a football is she married to a football player I don't know what she called her but and Dominique got body I was like okay Dominique girl come on bitch um and so what happened after that? Okay, so yeah, I think that's what, what really triggers Evelyn is that Jennifer acts like she doesn't care. And when somebody you've been friends with for 20 years does something to you and they walk in a room like they don't give a fuck about what they did or what they said to you, it's, it, is, it could be triggering. It could be triggering because you're like, I, I'm supposed to be your friend. You said something to hurt me and you're not even acknowledging that you hurt me you're not even trying to make amends but you sending letters to everybody else and trying to be cool with everybody else shawnee is the one that told me bitch that you said what you said about me and my child Sha uh, evelyn said well you know i can't help it when it's about my children it's everything goes out the window everything goes out the window and it's funny because jennifer is switching it like okay you're a child and you're saying that somebody talked about your mother, but you don't understand why a mother is mad because you spoke ill about her child. Come on, bitch. You got to do better than that. So Jennifer broke down, honey. She broke down and cried. I said, and, and then I was like, can somebody go hug her? Because she really was breaking down. But the line that said we're basketball wives and it's supposed to be a sisterhood and I don't feel like this doesn't feel like a sisterhood. No, I was looking like this. Jennifer, shut your ass up. Shut up. Shut up. I need, I need to go get some new shirts. I don't make the style of the shirts. It's time to change. I have a whole bunch of shirts, the same style that are, you know, that are black. And I just don't like the way they fit anymore. I don't know. I don't like this shoulder part. I don't like the way it looks. These, I don't know. This is some brand from damn, from, um, Target. Massimo used to have a brand at Target make the best t-shirts. 
these t-shirts, I don't like the way they too, like, they don't hang like the cotton, you know, like a, like a soft cotton blend and they like hang. This don't hang the way I want my, my Mossimo shirts to hang. Anyway, but okay, so Jennifer breaks down. Evelyn, I mean, um, Shawnee and Chris and Jackie Christie come back and explain to Evelyn. Evelyn starts crying because Jennifer says she feels alone. She doesn't have anybody. Um, she doesn't have a partner when their mother, when her mother was there dying, it was her sister and her husband and then her and no, she didn't have anybody to be there for her and to comfort her. You should have called your friend Evelyn. I'm sure she would have been there. Like, and she's sitting there crying and I felt really bad for Jennifer. I felt really bad for her because, you know, nobody, I mean, if you haven't lost a mother, you don't know the feeling that somebody feels and she was close to her mother so that's there's a difference you know what i mean um when a woman is close to her mother and her mother dies it's a it's a it's a different she's like that was my best friend that was my ride or die that was her friend and she saw her catch catch her last breath and it, it really hurt her but that doesn't mean that how you treated people during this time does not have consequences it still has what you did is still going to have an effect. It doesn't erase that. That's what I was trying to trying to say on Twitter. Like, I don't want to be, not show a lack of compassion towards Jennifer. But still, what you said, you still, it's not going to remove the accountability of what you did to Evelyn. Or what you said about Evelyn's child or whatever the fucking problem is. That, that, there's no excuse for it. And that's what Evelyn was saying. You don't start treating people mean because your mother died. I'm not talking about your mother. I'm talking about your behavior. But you want to flip it because you don't want to be held accountable for the shit you said to me. So now you're going through something. And now people have to work with you. I need y'all to just work with me. Okay, but we're not going to work with you so that you start abusing us. No, it's not going to work like that. You're not going to start talking shit and spreading rumors because your mama died and we should work with you girl no that's not how it goes that's not how it goes it don't go like that so no i i want to hug you jennifer because you look in pain but after i'm done hugging you and we let go we got to talk about what you did to evelyn period that's it you have to be held accountable you can't get that's not it's not an excuse. I don't care what y'all say. Evelyn did this. Evelyn hurt her. They done hurt each other. Both of them. 20 years, they've, they've hurt each other. And then they showed a clip of the last time Evelyn took her ass across the table. She was going towards Jennifer. So they done had their problems. And Jennifer's aloofness to the issues is what is bothersome for me. Like, I'm like, ugh, that shit, that would make me want to punch your ass in your damn face. That, like, you don't give a fuck. Like, acting like you don't care. And that you just want to go outside and have a drink. And you don't need to deal with this shit. It's your... It's like, she's mad at you. But, honey, I don't care. I'm going out to get a drink. She has a negative energy. Girl, it's, the energy is for you. That's who the energy for. It's not just, you know, the negative energy. It's for you. <laughs> I don't understand people. They get to dinner and they play the truth game, which was dumb. But here's Jackie. And Jackie was really a mediator she was really a icebreaker this episode she was really like okay we're gonna talk about it we're not gonna sit here with the elephants in the room we're gonna play this truth game we're gonna do these things to get whatever it is out on the table and so did you talk about Shanice and Evelyn or Jennifer says no Jennifer says no Jennifer at she said I may have said some things when she was when she was breaking down she said I may have said some things and it did seem like she was about to say, you know, I did say some things about Shani I should not have said. Um, but she didn't. And so they go to dinner and Jackie and Shawnee are under the impression that Evelyn is going to get an apology. I can't see shit. That Evelyn is going to get an apology. And Evelyn's like, okay. And so they, they get to the dinner and... Jennifer doesn't say anything. She's sitting at the table like she's the head of the goddamn mafia. Like, like really with this raggedy look on her face. Kristen asked Jennifer if her and, her and Malaysia will be cool again. Malaysia straight up said no. She asked Jennifer, but Malaysia answered no. You're a liar. Like, no, I'm not doing that. You're not going to get a chance to lie on me again. And that's it. And I'm with Malaysia. No, 
mm -mm. y'all i don't have a 20 fr year friendship that needs repairing you and evelyn handle that that don't have shit to do with me she didn't lie to me tried to say she was using me as a goddamn pawn to carry a bone no bitch you're not gonna be able to do that shit to me again no ma'am you're not gonna do it i don't blame malaysia i'll be the same way no period next case next question <clears throat> Jennifer, did you talk about Shani? Jackie leads Jennifer into the apology. She she set it up. Well, remember what you said when we were together that you said you was going to do this and that you wanted to apologize for everything that you had said? Like, Jackie was like, come on, bitch. We're not about to do this again. We keep doing with this with you every time. It's some issue with you and Evelyn that you need, that you done done wrong. We got to guide you into the apology. Because there's this thing like, I'm not apologizing. Like, I really think it's weird how Jennifer and Evelyn handle their conflict. Because Jennifer really doesn't like to apologize. She really pays Evelyn a lot of dust. And I think Evelyn is is like, she, and I don't know why um, Jennifer wants to be friends with Evelyn. Because you don't even like to apologize. It takes you, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, somebody please explain it to me because I don't know what it is. Well, she and then um, Jackie said, didn't you want to apologize? And she's like, I think I've done that. Uh-uh, see? With her red lipstick on, with her face all frowned up. You looking like no one should have a pro. Like, it's very, she's very, um, she's on the defense. And she should be because people are mad at you. But now you acting like you're, you're there's no humility there. None at all. None at all. None at all. Um, yeah, nonchalant attitude is what I wrote here. Well, we, I think we should talk alone. No, we ain't talking alone. We talking in front of everybody. You wanted to talk shit. You wanted to call, start a rumor about, try to start a rumor about me with this woman's husband, ex-husband. We doing this in public, girl. We not doing this in private. Jennifer scammed them. That's what I said. Jennifer scammed them. She had them thinking that she was going to apologize. Shawnee, Shawnee said, Shawnee said, I've been bamboozled. You have, what time is it? I'm trying to think, could I go get, no, let me go in here. Um, the next day they're having breakfast and she wants to have a private conversation and she, um, Evelyn's like, well, she needs to come to me cause I'm not going to her. This shit is crazy. Um, and Jennifer's like, I'm not really trying to deal with this. Like she doesn't care like that. That attitude is so unattractive. It's just really off putting, not even unattractive. It's just off putting. It's like, uh, and they she apologized she apologized for saying stuff about shawnee she apologized for saying stuff about them she apologized they hugged each other she, they said they missed each other and then when they hugged each other jennifer calls evelyn an asshole i know it was like a term of endearment but i'm like i don't know it was weird okay and then she's like i miss you evelyn says she missed jennifer and they miss each other and i don't know how that's happening but last night I just so happened to see some of Evelyn's tweets and she is like reliving the situation. So um, she seemed like she was still mad. I know that when they go back, <clears throat> when they go back and watch these episodes, it, kind of, it opens the wounds again. So they get mad all over again. So I don't know. What did y'all think about the episode? Let me know in the comments. I don't understand what the problem is. And y'all let me know. Did Evelyn say something about Jennifer's mother? So, so, so that I can understand the the reason why she kept saying you said something about your mom because i've never heard evelyn say anything about um, jennifer's mom so let me know what y'all think um next week og says that she is i heard you made a song about me and um i can kill you with my bare hands but i'm not gonna do that today i said oh shit and og done told you bitches that she has a anger issue you see she plays football and y'all keep fucking with her like I, it's like when people tell you who they are believe them don't try them believe them that bitch told you she got a bad attitude she told you she got anger issues and she and she plays football she's strong as hell she got a lot of aggression in her i don't think that's somebody that you want to get into a fight with like it's and it doesn't even matter the aggression itself matched with the anger and and phoebe you really look like what you like 17 18 years old you very very small in stature you don't look like you have you look like og can throw your ass across the room and that's what it does look like so we're gonna see what's gonna happen next week because 
Cause why would you make a rap about that girl? Why why put why put energy into that? Cause she's cause she made she implied that you might be a baby mom. So why does that hurt you? Cause you're not with him anymore. What why does that hurt you or why are you offended by that to the point where you would put energy to make a song of a diss song about somebody you don't even fucking know? Anyways, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go and get my shit together. Thank y'all for watching and we're going to get in the comments and keep talking. Take care of each other and protect your energy.